It's been a, a very unique season as we've looked at this new race car and, and what is presented. And you know, from, uh, from the driver's seat, you obviously have a lot of say in, in what you're looking for for a field. Um, but I would say that, that Travis definitely has a lot more going on in, in driving the, the specific setup uh, to try and, try and follow up with the, the feel that I can describe or say I'm looking for. Uh, you know, he has a lot more, lot more room to work on that and, and to dial it in to try and aim for that, that desired feel that you're looking for behind the wheel. Hi, I'm Travis Peterson, race engineer for the number 17 Fast and All Mustang. My responsibilities as race engineer um, primarily fall with the setup of the car and race strategy. Um, so pretty much everything from springs, bars, weight settings, even some of the aerodynamic stuff, um, I usually spec out or at least make a suggestion before the crew chief makes the final decision. Um, and very similar with race strategy and fuel mileage and changes during the race. Gosh, uh, Bristol Dirt's just a mess compared to what we're used to. There's a lot of the usual things you worry about, platform of the car, aerodynamics, that don't necessarily go out the window, but they change drastically. Plus, in this case, Bristol Dirt's gonna have a little bit different rules package. Um, and the new car going there, it was a major outlier last year, and it's twice as bad this year with um, the brand new car. So a lot to learn to try to figure out what to do there. Uh, I think the setup on the next gen car is probably more important than even the previous generation, because in the previous generation, you had a little bit more freedom on body and car build components that could uh, contribute to speed. And now it's a lot more reliant on your setup choices and your driver, um, because the rest of the playing field's a little leveled out. From the simulation side, Bristol Dirt is an extremely difficult problem because the track changes throughout the event. So you can really only ever sim, you can make multiple laps, but you really only ever sim one state. And it's not like we get track scans and all the data we do for other tracks. Um, and then last event, there was just random potholes that popped up at 50, 60 laps in. So um, there's only so much you can sim and then you just kind of err on the side of caution. I think we would definitely compare our notes to last year um, because wheel rates and things like that will apply. Um, and then other things like the race strategy of it and how hard it was to pass and where you need to run, I think a lot of those notes will apply and what we try to do with Chris. Yeah, with progressive banking, I'm sure we will attempt to simulate both lines, a bottom and a top, and you can see the difference in the loads and how that affects the handling of the car and try to plan for the ability to drive on both lanes since that's what you need to do. Um, and that's typically what you do at a track, a normal track with progressive banking is you simulate both situations and try to build a setup that works for both so you can move around. Thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, be sure to tune in April 17th on Fox to uh, watch us sling some dirt and hopefully outsmart everybody on the track.